Thanks. <laughs> okay. Do I read it out? Yes. Hi, um, my name is Remy Lowe. I am a teacher in the Sydney School of Education and Social Work. And I have the privilege and pleasure of teaching um, education foundations. So, you know, to be boring, the units that start with EDUF, if you really wanted to know. You can read that out loud. Dr. Remy Lowe, absolute gun of a lecturer tutor, made someone amazing. Hope he sees this. <laughs> um, I'm seeing it. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's, it's, it's really nice. It's really flattering. You know, as a teacher, you never quite know whether you're making much sense. <laughs> you never quite know what people are getting out of your classes. So yeah, it's really, really nice to, to read this. So thank you, I do see it and I do appreciate it. <laughs> when you received the email from us, how did that make you feel? Um, look, I don't assume that, you know, students have lots of free time. Nowadays, people have work, they have things to do, you know, friends to catch up with. So the fact that someone might actually take time um, to write and to write about um, how my teaching is, been helpful and impacting to them is, yeah, like I said, really flattering, um, really moving. And, you know, don't underestimate how impacting that type of feedback is um, for someone like me. The fact that you, whoever you are, wrote that, um, I really appreciate it. And it does make a big difference uh, to me as a teacher as well. Hi, hey, I'm um, Matt Pye. I'm the unit coordinator for Life and Evolution, a first year biology unit of study in the Faculty of Science. Are you okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. His queer representation made me and my queer peers feel like we can have a future in science. So first of all, that's really lovely. I think that um, my visibility is something that I can do effortlessly. And when it has that kind of impact, that means a lot to me. It means that just purely by being myself, um, I've opened up doors for people and I know that a lot of people um, from the LGBTIQA plus community don't see that representation and therefore they don't see themselves in the degree that they've chosen. So it's really, really important that I continue it and they're lovely for saying that. <laughs> when you received the email from us that students left a comment for you, how did that make you feel? It made me feel like my job is worth it. It made me feel like Students are getting the vibe that we try to um, put into the course and that vibe is one of a relaxed, fun learning environment where students can bring their whole selves to the classroom, um, which means that they can participate and be the best that they can be. So yeah, it made me feel good. It made me feel like we're doing the right thing. My name's Tina Hinton. I'm an Associate Professor of Pharmacology at the University of Sydney and I coordinate MEDS 2002, Foundations of Pharmacology and I also teach pharmacology into a range of different units of study to a range of cohorts. Okay, do I read it out? Yes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Dr. Tina Hinton is the queen of pharmacology. <laughs> That's lovely, thank you. <laughs> so when you received the email, how did that sort of make you feel? It made me feel that the work that I do and the work we do is valued and is appreciated uh, by our students and it reinforces that sense that I get working with our students and uh, working together and developing a really good working relationship and also helps me feel that they feel valued which is something that's really important to me that my students feel valued as well. Hi my name is Yang No. I'm a lecturer here at the School of Biomedical Engineering and I teach about biomedical materials and biomedical design. Yeah. Dr. Young No, they helped me when I was thinking to quit. Their compassion made a huge difference. Uh, thanks for that, I really appreciate that comment. Uh, it always feels good to receive these kinds of feedback and gives me more impetus uh, to continue what I'm doing, both in terms of teaching and in terms of uh, advising students and mentoring them. When you sort of got the email from us that, you know, Someone's left a comment for you. How did you feel? No, it, it feels definitely great. Um, like it's, there's one thing to receive solicited feedback through the unit of study surveys. It's another thing to receive unsolicited feedback and feedback that's, that they're not telling me directly, but telling someone else about me. 
right? It feels different, definitely, and it feels. Um, I, I'm quite proud of the fact that people are sort of talking about me in a positive light, uh, uh, without me knowing. So, uh, yeah, that that makes me feel quite proud in what I do. Yeah. So my name is uh, Gustavo Fimbres Weiss. Um, I teach uh, Introduction to Chemical Engineering and uh, Process Economics in uh, another unit called uh, Risk uh, Management for Chemical Engineering. Okay, I have to read this. Yes, you just have to read that out. Okay, so it says, Dr. Gustavo Fimbres Weiss has been my mentor since 2020, helped me shape my life out of uncertainty. So, that's, that's, it's, it's nice uh, to be able to help people like, uh, yeah, they, they always tell us like you want to make a big impact in the world, but sometimes just helping one person, it's a it's, it's nice feeling, yeah. When you receive the email that someone's left a response from you, how yeah. did that make you feel? Oh, well, first of all, it made my day because, yeah, uh, you get caught in the day-to-day -day stuff and it's always like pressure and deadlines and, uh, and you, you sometimes wonder like, oh, why, why am I doing this, you know, why am I putting me through all this trouble? And a lot of the times like the things that you're um, working towards have like a low uh, level of success like <laughs> grant acceptance rates and things like that but just knowing that yeah somebody appreciated what you did and and um, and, and, and and that your, your work here is valued as well and that, that's really important I think yeah. Hi my name is Justin Beardsley I'm an infectious disease doctor and researcher and I teach in the global control of communicable diseases unit of study through the School of Public Health here at Sydney. Exciting can I read it first? Yeah you can read it aloud. <laughs> Uh, Justin Beardsley and Phoebe Williams, their experiences as an ID MD, just amazing. That's really sweet. <laughs> when you received the email from us, how did you feel? Like, how did that make you feel knowing that <laughs> someone, someone had responded? Made an impact on someone's life? Yeah. So I was really happy when I heard that it was something positive and excited to hear that, you know, we've made a difference to somebody's experience here at the university. Hi, my name is Matthew Sussman and I'm a senior lecturer here in English at the University of Sydney where I specialize in 19th century British literature and culture. Okay, uh, it's my supervisor, Dr. Matthew Sussman. He's a perfect listener, knowledgeable and kind. Oh, well, that's very sweet. I hope that I um, am kind and I certainly try to listen when I have students um, because it's really their forum to grow and develop rather than mine to impose some kind of view upon them. What was your first reaction like reading that email um, from us? Oh yeah, I mean I was, I was so happy yeah. because sometimes at the front of the room you don't always know exactly how you're connecting with students and with Zoom, a lot of my units are on Zoom, it can be even harder to get that person-to-person -person contact and have those chats and conversations that take place after a lecture where a student comes up and says that really meant something to me or I see things differently now. So it's really delightful. Any final words of wisdom? <laughs> <laughs> um, final words of wisdom, wow. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know, share some wisdom if you have so with me. If I was to give you a sense of, I guess, wisdom or share my wisdom, if, if I have any. <laughs> oh, it's tricky. What's wisdom? <laughs> <laughs> Follow your passion and, and reach out to the people who inspire you. Embrace your interests and develop new ones. So we're all on your side, we're not trying to like give you a butt mark and tell you that's not our, our job. Try to go to all your classes, I try to do all your assessments. I, I know it's hard, but in the end things will work out. Respect other cultures and learn from other cultures and to learn that there's more than one way of seeing the world. If you find your passion then work won't really feel like work and I think that's important. Take care of yourselves, uh, take care of one another and take care of this world that we live in. Um, I guess for whatever it's worth, that's my final word of wisdom. <laughs>